all right wonderful people welcome back to this wonderful channel where we bring you back to back updates and information as it is hot in case you have not joined our social media handle kindly go ahead and subscribe like comment share and also remember to on your notification button so that whenever our news drop you will be the first we'll collect them let's go down to the news proper as it is hot it don't show uh, the information where we say if they reach from my table, we say the Indi Bolivia France where we say they day for Germany and even the German government themselves uh, don't welcome the Prime Minister of the Biafra Republic government in exile, Mas Simon Eba. One joku to hear him out on what he has been saying concerning the issue of freedom of the indigenous people of Biafra. I see they be uh, according to information where we say with the past. Uh, Simon Eba's emissaries were lifted up in the crowd immediately after they touched their feet on the soil of the German nation, proving that uh, what could not be done can be done, and what a lot of people have shied away from since the inception of the struggle of the indigenous people of Biafra to become a nation of their own, is gradually being actualized by the Prime Minister of the Biafra Republic government in exile, Mazi Simon Eba Wanjoko. Mashi Odogudike and Wakike Anwana Bwebwe Okachin Tenang Ogare. I say, you know, they easy. Our people say, uh, say Nagidigidi and I'm Bidi Ugweze dear. If you want to translate that one, if you come direct, make I tell you what you mean. But I see they be Nagidigidi and I'm Bidi Ugweze. It means say, as a get people, and uh, people, people where they come kata kata kata, na in the show, eze, eh, uh, see, eze, na in the eze. <laughs> you know, I see they be, and I hear say, mm, the panic, where we say, it there for the NIG Republic, I hear say, the panic don't plenty because, <laughs> uh, they no expect waiting than they see from the Prime Minister of the Biafra Republic government in exile, Mazi Simon Eba Manjoko. Uh, they thought that it was going to be business as usual, maybe a uh, carrying of weapon, uh, making noise and the rest of them. But the kind of move that the government of the NIG has seen from the Prime Minister of the Biafra Republic government in exile, what he has been exhibiting so far, I think every other person is bewildered and they are wondering what is giving him this wisdom, this preciseness, because uh, looking at what Eba is doing, you find out that he looks as if Eba is more precise in what he's doing, uh, because okay, let me drop you one of his uh, uh, one of his uh, words from Eba. Let's go down so that you can listen to it before I will continue with the information we'll be say I pass to you. We are going to be giving them back to back. We are the one leading this movement, and we know when to fire that shot. We never miss target. So when they do too much, we will change the name. Completely. And the government in exile will take full charge. By then, if they do anyhow, we will continue to demand them to release Mazin Abdikano <laughs> to come and put the things in order. If there's so much love for IPOB that they prescribe, because now they are dragging who is IPOB, who is not IPOB, all of a sudden, all of a sudden, Nigerian government is now telling you Simon Ekba is not a member of IPOB. All of a sudden, Nigerian newspaper is now carrying the who is a member and who is not a member of IPOB. They are now dragging who is a member. And this is supposed to be a proscribed organization, a proscribed group. All of a sudden, they are embracing them. So we are going to change. And, you know, just follow me and know when the time will come to change the name. And we are going to stop mentioning it. Let them enjoy the IPOB they proscribed. The Biafra government has come to stay. We are now government to government, not organization. So I want you to understand. They never expected what is happening now to happen. Everybody is crying. And I want you to understand that the ignorant in the life of some of them are too much. The ignorant is very you know, smelly. And what we know, they don't know it. What we know, they don't know it. I want to use this opportunity to send a message to somebody that I didn't want to, you know, even respond to. But because if you allow ignorance to continue, they will think that they know something. I want to send a message to somebody that is probably going to shock their friends people today. Master prophet in Germany. Master prophet. 
Master Prophet, you do not know anything about Biafra. You do struggle. You do not know anything about freedom fighting. Freedom fighting is beyond coming to social media to make speeches and speakable language. Freedom fighting requires people with high intellect that their brains are hot, and I happen to be one of them. Everything I'm doing today have its purpose and have a reason why I'm doing it. Whatever decision I have taken today is one, for the best interest of Biafra. Two, is the promise I have given to Mazin Amdikano. You do not want to know what I'm doing. Stop attacking and chasing shadow. It's never going to lead you anywhere. Only if you people know the damage you are doing to Mazin Amdikano, you will be ashamed. There are informations that is available to me which none of you know. Of course, you know some of the people you are trying to defend know it because they are part of the evil plan against Mazin Amdikano. One, is that the code I have, you don't have it. It is the same you, Master Prophet, that said, if Mazinam the Kano have given that message to you from Samanekwa to broadcast on Radio Biafra, you will never deliver the message. So if I had been, if you have succeeded in killing Samanekwa, the time you were making all your concussion and all that, are you going to be proud to advise Samanekwa today? No. What you don't know is that I know what I'm doing. And consistency, truth, genuity is the key. If you had succeeded in eliminating Simon Ekpa, the time you were tying baby and doing all those nonsense on social media, you will not have Simon Ekpa today to advise. But today, because I know what I was doing and you didn't know what you were doing, I was able to defeat the, cr the criminals and the enemies of Mazin and the Kano, and your charm and your juju did not work on me. If he, had, he has worked on me, you will not see me today to advise Simon Ekpa. But today, you were able to see me to advise me because I was doing the right thing and you were just wallowing and living in ignorance that I caught up with you and your family. So what you don't know is bigger than you. If you have followed me from the one, I have never deviated from this struggle. And if, like I said, if you have succeeded with the time you were attacking me, do you know those not social media? Are you going to still have Samanepa today to advise? No. You will not have me to advise. And the way I was right, then when you were doing all those things and I continue to do what I'm doing, is the same way I'm right at the end of the day with all this nonsense you are spewing out of your mouth. So I want you to just pipe low because if you know what I know by now, you will be slapping Kano Takano. If you know what I know by now, you will be slapping Aloy Ejimako. You don't know what I know. You don't know. And I don't want to share many things on social media. There are some things I share on social media. There are some things I don't share on social media. I'm not saying you should believe me. I'm not saying you should believe me. But there is nothing that will change me from the path I have followed. Nothing. Because I have seen all of you are fake and fake people. Even the so-called Aloy Ejimako that was you know, trying to come closer to me betrayed, including lying against me. <laughs> you know? So, what I'm trying to say this evening is that you have not seen the best part of me. I am still coming. Mazinam, the Kano order will never be taken from the DSS dungeon. And anybody that is not happy with it should go and bring Mazinam, the Kano out. You see, whatever I'm doing today has nothing to do with Mazinam, the Kano. He did not give me the order. And I have made it very clear. We exonerate him from everything we are doing today. That particular thing has been made very clear to the public, including to the Nigerian media. I am fighting on my own, leading the Biafra government in exile, and it has nothing attached to Mazin Amdekano. The only thing we are doing is that Mazin Amdekano remained the leader of the indigenous people of Biafra, and by the virtue of the recognition given to me by him, I am standing here to fight for his release. And we do everything within our power everything within and without to make sure we put Nigeria government in a very tight corner and they will not have any other option than to release him, either by bail or whatever condition they want to give, but they want to see him out of the dungeon. You people cannot be enjoying your life with your family. Amazinam Dekano is wallowing in DSS dungeon. And they will come to you to say, 
Simon Epa is the reason why Mazinam Dikano is not released. How is Simon Epa is the reason? If they are telling you the truth, that what I'm doing should be the reason they should release Mazinam Dikano to come and stop me. Right? But they will not tell you that. They will tell you some, how. What is the connection between me and Mazinam Dikano in what we are doing? When I have said it very clear, we are not going to take order from him, which means he is not the one giving the order. So why should you continue to attach Simon Ekpa to Mazinam Dikano? We have made it very clear. If you so much love Mazinam Dikano, release him. Let him come and stop me. As simple as that. But you don't want to do that. We are going to change it for you. We change everything for you. And it is going to work by force, by fire. I want to thank you all. This broadcast is going to end here. I want this particular broadcast to go to every cranny of Biafra land. Those people who bring the, uh, the terrorists. All right, I see the B. Uh, you don't hear I'm from the Prime Minister of the Biafra Republic Government in exile, Mas Simon Epa Wanjoko. I see the talk, the Hara, the Para. Uh, the talk has plenty of things where we say is supposed to the take the take place. Uh, but I say, um, you know, get a CB way, it never be before uh, because uh, they say, I pass away, they wear shoe, and I know where the shoe is the pen. Am. I see the big cost don't fix another date uh, to resume Mazenam the Canos trial. And um, even Mazenam the Canos lawyer don't divest the talk, say, why court go to do this kind of thing? Hmm. Uh, they say the case was supposed, supposed to be yesterday, which was Thursday. And as it is, uh, the Federal High Court has postponed the case uh, for, uh, which they call them, to 28th of December. I see the beef for us, they say one popular pastor like that, uh, they don't send the pastor and wife for over alleged uh, 33.8 million fraud. Uh, they say one prophet, one prophet, uh, Enuka and Pastor Mary. Well, like that, we say the day for let God. They say they don't sentence them for to prison uh, because Pastor Enuka and his wife will be married. Uh, they conspire together to dupe their members of 33.8 million naira. <laughs> uh, I say, where this one they happen, they say, now for inside church. Oh. I say, okay, so now for inside church, this rough for rough, they take place. They say, yes, I say, now wow, <laughs> and I can't say, okay, you know, get a CB way never be before. Uh, since now for inside the church, uh, say now them where they say that they preach to us, say may we find way, may we go go heaven. Yeah, but they themselves, uh, they they day for this world, they pack money, they keep them for the accounts. And my question be say, this way, this heaven, uh, where we say when they tell us say we go go, and you people can't leave us, can't they here for earth, can't they pack things? Uh, say may we they go heaven, may we they prepare for treasure of heaven. Uh, make una una serve, they use una hand, they carry the treasure of the earth. I say, oh, Tilo, uh, nothing they there. Say, we still there with you, kwa. Uh, as soon as they prepare, we see they prepare. I know say heaven deal, uh, because our Bible tells us so. Uh, but you know me, say, person no supposed they all right. No carry the one where you have, uh, where you go use chocolate with you and your family, go give one fake pastor like that, where you say, eat the fine food, where you and your family go chocolate. I <laughs> uh, see the bill. If I say I go to wrap your saw and wind down the curtain here, and if this is your first time, where we say the carry body chook, uh, kindly go ahead and subscribe, uh, like, uh, comment, uh, share, and also remember to on your notification button so that whenever I go to drop news, remember you go be the first. Well, collect them. Thank you for listening. God bless you.